know what that music means. From the latest lipstick trends to what your boyfriend won't be wearing next season, the Fash Pack are here to ring in the weekend with some cool and crazy fashion news. Joining me in studio are Alexa Chaffee May, Margot Knapper and Lee Vandenberg. Ladies, good morning. Oh, hello. So good to see you. Alexis, I'm going to kick off with you. It's that time of the year again when men's wear is in the spotlight. Yes. What do you have for us? So now all the international catwalks are showing off their menswear collections for spring, summer 17. Mm -hmm. However, we've discussed there's a little bit of a ruffle going on in the fashion industry. They're showing menswear aside women's wear. And some collections, it's actually quite dif um, difficult to kind of differentiate what you're looking at. Oh, is it like men's this one wear? on screen right now. Is yeah. it women's wear? So that we hear gender bending, androgyny, blurred lines. These are all terms that we bandy about in our fashion circles. Mm. But I'd love to know what your average guy on the street thinks of some of these statement ensembles. I mean, what would you, what do you think, Lee? If you well, went on a date with a guy and he was wearing this. Okay, first of all, I wouldn't be on a date with a guy <laughs> who was wearing that. So let's just start there. I don't know. I think it's great for the catwalk, but uh, maybe we should just tone it down for when yeah, you're actually on the street. Yeah, I think masculinity is a statement in itself. And yes. I'm, like, I'm not against, you know, a little bit of, you know, daring color and fabric. Bold pop of something. But you know, when it's like just confusing, like, what are you looking at? I think there's a problem. Yeah, yeah I know. Ugly on a goal. Absolutely. <laughs> like, this is true. Revolting. This is true. Hobo chic. Yeah. Hobo chic for days. Okay, so Lee, we need to talk about your lips. Yes. Um, oh, there's the amazing, regret. <laughs> there's amazing yeah. things happening in the world of lipstick. Okay. Um, what's yeah. going on? There's a, a blue lipstick trend going on. Uh -huh. I was going to, look, Rihanna's wearing it. And yeah. I thought, you know what? I'm going to wear it today because I'm chatting about it and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> we all hate it. We hate it. Yeah, there was hysteria. It gets on your teeth. Yes. Like, it just, uh, you have to overdraw your lines so yeah. dramatically because it also makes your lips look a little bit small. Um, yeah, no, I'm not a happy girl today. <laughs> it looks like you've been sucking a, like a blue lolly or something I've and been something just went... i my boyfriend, Papa Smith. <laughs> okay, well, Papa all right. Smith. But I mean, like, Kylie's rocking it, yeah. Well, she has a thing. crew. She yeah. has a crew helping her rock her blue lips. Yeah, there's a makeup that. artist off camera yeah. because the moment she opens her mouth, that's on her teeth. Yes. <laughs> she her never smiles. Smoothing. She never smiles. Now, yeah, I think now that... I don't think Chris will be borrowing her daughter's lipstick anytime soon because that's what oftentimes happens, Margot, <laughs> is we tend to borrow between moms and daughters. Should this be left aside or can we continue this amazing trend? Yeah, totally. Hey? I think these celebs now give new meaning to the to the song I got it from my mama. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we can totally say that Gwyneth Paltrow's signature wow. smile comes from her actress mum. Blythe like Danner. Yeah. She's amazing. Absolutely beautiful. And all of these pics are the same age. They, they were taken. So mm. next up is Goldie Horn and Kate oh, Hudson. I, I mean, love them. They love are, you have them. to do a double take with them. It's so incredible. And they're both 37 here and just looking, you can wow. see the different, the different, eight, you know, like the 70s. Yeah. And, and now, but now this is the duo, oh. most lookalike duo. Are they, are they actually the same person? That's Meryl Streep and her daughter, Mummy wow. Gummer. And I'm just like, does this prove that time travel actually exists? Because Maybe. they're actually amazing. the same person. Maybe. Wow. Gosh. Absolutely amazing. The well, they look so beautiful. stunning. Thank yeah. you so much, ladies, for bringing us these updates from the world of fashion and entertainment. And Lee, I'm sure you're going to go and wipe that off. <laughs> 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 really, really great. <laughs> You look hot, girl. We're just hating because we love it. Well, it is time for us to go to the kitchen with a smoothie that hopefully won't leave your lips looking blue. 